Relations between the Kremlin and Europe's far-right political parties continue to strengthen, with Marine Le Pen, the leader of France's far-right National Front, traveling to Moscow over the weekend. Meeting with the Speaker of the Lower House of the Russian Parliament, Sergei Narushkin, Le Pen said that the European Union had declared a cold war on Russia. The French far-right leader's comments came as relations between the Kremlin and Brussels hit their lowest ebb in decades, after the EU imposed sanctions on dozens of prominent Russian officials over Moscow's annexation last month of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula. The illegal land grab found support among many of Europe's nationalist parties, several of whose members were brought in by Moscow to act as observers during the internationally discredited referendum which the Kremlin orchestrated prior to formally taking control of the territory. Territory. Moscow, in turn, has been actively cultivating ties with European far-right parties, whilst simultaneously accusing Ukraine's new pro-EU government of being run by fascists and nationalists. Russian President Vladimir Putin is reported to have said that his country's actions in Crimea came as a response to the orgy of extremists and anti-Semites on the streets of Kiev. Kremlin support for the far right in Europe comes in spite of Putin making remembrance and glorification of the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi Germany during World War II a key part of his time in office.